So let's talk about multiple endocrine neoplasia. Um, and there's three types. Um, there's MEN, which is the abbreviation, 1, 2A, and 2B. And it's a genetic abnormality, um, and it's associated with the RET gene in 2A and 2B. Um, also of note is that it's autosomal dominant. Okay, So if you see someone with multiple again, endocrine neoplasia um, in one generation, you, you're probably going to see the next generation as well. Uh, so let's talk about the specific types. So the first thing we're going to talk about is MEN1, okay? multiple, multiple endocrine neoplasia 1. And this deals with the three Ps, uh, pituitary, parathyroid, and pancreas. So you're getting neoplasias in these three different areas. Okay, um, So have people, people like to remember this by a diamond. Okay, So MEN1 is a diamond. So you get your pituitary up here, your two parathyroids down here, and then your pancreas all the way at the bottom. So it's kind of a diamond, and it deals with three different things. One up here, two down here, and one down here. Okay. Um, and what test takers like to do is uh, come up with someone who has two out of these three neoplasias. Obviously, they're not going to say pituitary, adenoma, uh, parathyroid, cancer, or pancreas tumor. Um, they're going to say someone coming in with hypercalcemia, and they went in for neck surgery um, due to parathyroid tumor, or, or someone who has a bunch of gastric ulcers because of Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, or gastronoma, or something like that, and then you have to find out what the third one is, okay? Um, so basically, it's the pituitary, parathyroid, and pancreas, okay? Um, and, the, and the pancreatic tumors that uh, are more likely to be seen than not are the gastronomas, the insulinomas, and the VIPomas. Um, what's really rare are the glucagonomas, um, but they could also present uh, as well. Um, and you could also see stomach ulcers because of the, um, um, the gastronomas, um, as well as kidney stones because you have a parathyroid tumor um, secreting a lot of PTH. And another name for MEN1 is Wormers syndrome. Wormers syndrome. Okay. The next one is MEN 2A. Okay, again, this is associated with the RET gene. Um, okay, so you only have two things here. You have the parathyroids and the pho and pheochromocytoma. Okay, so basically you have a square. So you know MEN1 was like a diamond. Uh, this one's like a square because you have two of each. Because you have the parathyroids on top and the, pheochro the pheochromocytomas on the bottom. Okay, and they're both on symmetrical sides. Okay. Um, and another name for this is Sipple's syndrome. So Sipple. Okay. Um, so basically, just think about a square, and you have two on top and two at the bottom. And another thing that's associated with it, but doesn't have to deal with the square, is you might get a medullary thyroid carcinoma, which secretes calcitonin. So you might have hypocalcemia. Okay. And that could be another uh, clue as to what um, the other signs could be. And if you get uh, hypocalcemia and figure something going on with the parathyroids, maybe you should check for pheo. Or if you have uh, parathyroids and pheochromocytoma, maybe you should check for uh, the medullary thyroid carcinoma. Um, and again, it's associated with RET and it's on double dominant. And the last one, which is MEN 2B, uh, it's just one thing you have to worry about. Um, it's pheochromocytoma. Um, but you have two other things that may not deal with uh, the thing I'm about to tell you. You, have the, you also have medullary thyroid carcinoma. So in the MEN 2s, you have medullary thyroid carcinoma. And you, also, you can also get oral ganglioneuromatosis. Okay? Um, and the way to think about this is a triangle. So you have the oral up here and the pheos down here. But you can also get medullary thyroid carcinoma. Okay? And again, it's associated with the RET gene. So let's have a little bit of a review. So in MEN 1, MEN 1, you get three Ps, so parathyroid, pituitary, and pancreas, and you draw a little bit of a diamond, so you have the pituitary up there, you have the parathyroids here, and the pancreas at the bottom. In MEN 2A, MEN 2A, you get two Ps, and think about a square, so you get the parathyroids up here, and the pheos at the bottom, as well as medullary thyroid carcinoma. And the MEN 2B syndrome, you only have one P, okay? So, and that's your pheo. So think about a uh, triangle. So you have your oroneuroganglionomatosis at the top, and then your pheos at the bottom. And you can also get medullary thyroid carcinoma. So try to associate that with the RET gene. You know how the RET gene deals with MEN2A and MED2B? So think about the RET gene causing medullary thyroid carcinoma. Okay. Um, some other things that they might talk about is that MEN1 men is also Wormer syndrome, and MEN2A is Sipple's syndrome. Okay.